all right guys uh this is a 2010 chevy malibu lt uh, here's the instrument cluster right so um <clears throat> i was trying to look it up and see how i can fucking you know look at videos and stuff whatever long story short so what i did was all so the first thing i did was i came to the side right here and right here they had like a little cover so i popped that cover out and there's one two three this one four five bolts that you have to remove once you remove that in the bottom right here there's one two sec two bolts after i removed all that i ended up bringing all this down i brought it down a little bit so i couldn't bring it down even more right here because there's another bolt right here you have to remove so what i did was let's see i removed this side panel and i ended up removing this bolt right here and that's it only one bolt remove this so you don't gotta go all crazy i almost took this guy out but i realized that i don't need to take it out this is whatever and then after that these guys right here i took this out kind of all nothing but clips and stuff whatever so it kind of just pulled it out came out pretty okay so once that was out there's four screws one two three four you take those four screws out once it comes out you can go ahead and pull the cluster out and behind it is just a little tab a little connector you just pull out whatever but if you want to make it a little bit more easier to get to it you can also take this guy out which is one and then two you can do that and just take remove the top guy and makes it more easier but um i figured that you know i can kind of work my way through it which was pretty good i wasn't in no nothing was in the way but other than that yeah man uh and another thing if you guys are going to replace the cluster just know that um if your old cluster had let's just say for example 150 miles 150,000 miles and let's say you get a new cluster that has 80,000 miles your car is going to be saying it's going to have 80,000 miles instead of 150 so you would have to replace that take that to the dealership which i'm not gonna do i'm just gonna freaking just drive it and just as long as i can see the gauges i'm okay but what i did was when i pulled it out i disconnected it i came back and i connected it again and so happens it all works now before i wasn't able to see none of this stuff the gauges weren't working nothing just a check engine light um but other than that man um yeah it's pretty simple nothing too complicated um just takes time and patience that's it but other than that man i hope this video helps out